kurz auf den Brief ein. Ja, guck mal. Hello, welcome to the Monday Cure. Today it's just an update on my life. And here to help me is Consuelo. It's Lexi's birthday today, she just turned one. I am one. I'm going to be talking about my relationship with my father and new opportunity to work. And Jess is the comedic relief. <laughs> Little known fact, um, I come from a single parent family. I was raised by my mum. Who is the coolest person alive? She is. I grew up with my mother and my brother. My father didn't stick around for long. Um, yeah, it didn't really faze me. Mum was the mother and the father. She raised us to be good people and whatnot. I've, I've seen my father a couple of times throughout my life, but stopped talking to him many years ago. Last year, I decided I wanted to try and get in contact with him, so I got a phone number from my uncle, uh, but it went straight to message bank every time I called it. Three days ago, I decided to give the number another call, and it rang, and rang, and rang, and then a brooding Spanish man with very poor English, aka my father, answered the phone. We spent the next 20 minutes talking on the phone about what I've been doing with my life, what he'd been doing, and about the family. It turns out he was actually in San Diego for a year visiting my grandmother because she was sick and she sadly passed away before I got a chance to meet her. Um, I also found out that I have a brother, a half brother, who lives in Japan at the moment and I think he has a family. Who would also be attractive because Probably. his family just breeds attractive children. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Now be gone with you. Bye bye. I've decided that um, I'm going to catch up with my father in the next couple of months. He's in, living in Sydney at the moment. He's come back to Australia. So I plan to go down there for a week and go and catch up with him because I haven't seen him since I was a teen. He's master. <laughs> so obviously we have a lot to catch up on. There's not a lot of, what, eight years that you can catch up on a 20 minute phone conversation. When I wake up. Well, I don't know. I don't start talking. He's up to it. Lexi, are you confused? No, that's just mean. It's her birthday. You can't pat her back. Especially when there's a language barrier. <laughs> yeah, a very, very <laughs> thick language barrier. So I do plan to go and spend some time with the family. I would like to go to San Diego next I year. Jump. I'm going to meet my brother in Japan. Get out of the bed! Get out of the bin! Good time. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of family to catch up with in California and in Japan and in Sydney. Um, I'm gonna come with you and I'm yeah. gonna lie on the beach and pretend I'm Katy Perry. <laughs> I am Katy Perry. I'm gonna be like, I have cupcakes and I'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> but that part of my life is on a little bit of hold for now. I'm currently preparing myself to start the training program at work. It's start next week. It's going to be a very busy month and a half and then three months on probation. So once I get the ball rolling on that, then I can start planning the rest of my life, meeting family, doing travel and whatnot. This is a really good fan. It is. Where is this from? Um, it's the work at the Black African shorts. Everybody should shop at Premonition Designs. Premonition Designs, just because Sydney based store. <gasps> it gets bigger. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just work every day. Every so day of my life. Uh, my name's Des. I work every day of my life on the street because I'm a thug. <laughs> <laughs> I plan to make some movies out of my trips overseas to America and Japan. So watch this space. Things are gonna get crazy. Lots I will also be uploading videos from my trip tornado chasing. Yes, just tell them about that. I am going to Oklahoma in May for a week. <laughs> and I'm chasing tornadoes like a hillbilly. And it's gonna be fantastic. Yeah! Oh, I'm going with my dad. It's like our thing that we um, 
We used to watch all those shows on the telly, like the storm chasing shows, but now they're not on anymore. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Your shopping cart. Are you spending money? Hmm? No, not yet. Wait for payday. We're moving! Yeah, we're moving. Easter. Yeah. A lot of stuff to move. How are we going to do this? <gasps> We could just put this on the water and just put all our stuff on it and just... Take the punt. <laughs> that, was, that was serious. It's only a dollar. I'm going to start posting more videos because I've just bought a new laptop. So I can now edit videos and I can put my card into my laptop and I can get everything off my camera. Which I haven't been able to do for over a year. <laughs> But now I can, so now I can film videos that aren't terrible quality laptop ones. Are you dancing? Yeah. Dancing for joy, because I was so happy that you could do that now. It's my joy dance. Ha! <coughs> <coughs> That's right, up. Bug must set it 50. <laughs> well, that about wraps it up for us today on the Monday Cure. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please like the video you probably didn't like this share, one that much but watch the comment, other ones they're actually funny this one's more like an informational upcoming upcoming video like us conversation thing we don't have a facebook we should make facebook we're going to make a facebook i hope you enjoyed our little discussional clip. magic tune in next week um we'll have something <laughs> i've got a list i'm still trying to do a sign off oh. <laughs> <laughs> Every time! Ciao enchilada! Alveda saying burrito. <laughs>